it is Danny with Tails Up Pub and I am here to talk about our machines. The biggest question is what machines do we use? So I'm going to show you everything. I love every single machine that we have so I'm very excited to tell you about them. So we specialize in handmade dog bandanas and custom embroidery for dog moms. So we're going to start off with our embroidery machines because that's the biggest question. What embroidery machines do we use? So let me show you. So we actually have three embroidery machines. This is our embroidery little studio. So I'll give you a little look over of all three machines. We have inventory ready to be embroidered and hoops, hooping stations. So let's go through it all. The first machine I have here, all three of them actually are brother machines. We love them so much and we've had a great experience. Um, we got all these machines at sewingmachine.com, which is actually local to Atlanta. So we're able to go there. Um, we shopped around and they were super helpful. So highly recommend sewingmachine.com. So this is the brother PR. 680w it is a six needle which means that there are six needles down here and you can have six different threads coming through this is actually what we started with but an older version so we made less of an investment by using a used machine um, overall we had a good experience but if you are looking at getting a used machine i would just be aware that you don't know what issues it's coming with and you need to think about how many hours that machine already has on it and all of that stuff so just do your research and make sure that it's a good investment for you um, but we ended up trading that machine in what maybe like after a year um, maybe a little bit less and got a brand new one. Um, there were some issues with that machine and this one has been literally flawless. So I'm so glad that we did that. And that is what this one is. So there's going to be some major changes between this one and the next one, but maybe I'll show you this one first before I talk about the major differences. So this is the brother PR 1055 X and this is a 10 needle. So 10 needles, 10 threads. If you're doing designs that have multiple colors, the more needles that you have are going to allow you to go faster because you're not going to have to be changing your threads mid design. Um, for us, we're doing a ton of custom designs, so lots of colors going on here. So I have to rethread these multiple times a day, even with my two 10 needles and a six needle, because I'm constantly needing different colors for different designs. If you're doing bulk designs, then you'll have a much easier time to thread the machine one time, load all your designs and keep it running. But we do so much customization that I'm having to thread these all the time. So the two machines, a six needle and a 10 needle, I would say the biggest differences are that this one um, kind of winds up your designs with a laser. So it has a red X and you can put your design where you want it with that red X. This one has a camera built in. So if you are doing literally anything that you want this machine makes it possible you can line it up perfectly you can do so much so let me actually show you um what the camera looks like so we're going to set this like this you can click this it's going to scan and now if i put my hand under here if you follow me down here and i'm putting my hand down here you can see up there that you can see it so if i'm trying to center a design if my sweatshirt is hooped crooked or if i am doing anything that's not perfectly straight i can make sure it's straight on here if you mess something up and you need to come back after you rehooped it it's super easy to line it up with the camera so the camera allows you to do so much and actually this machine allows you to go even wider if you get a bigger hoop than this one does uh, personally i never use the wider width because i haven't had a need for it so i use the same width on both of these but the biggest difference would be the laser on the six needle and the camera on the 10 needle. If you are looking to get into embroidery or you already are and are looking to upgrade to a machine like one of these, the biggest thing to know is that you have to get these machines maintenance. So you have to make sure that there is someone local to you, which there likely is, but I would just look into it to make sure that you're able to get your machines maintenance. It is about 500 hours of runtime that you need to get them checked out. And for me, that's about every six months. And we don't have someone that comes into the building. So we have to to load up these machines into our car and take them to sewingmachine.com's building and get the maintenance. So it is quite a hassle, but it is obviously worth it to have this business thriving with great machines and they just love to get, I always tell 
Nick that going to the maintenance is like them getting a bath. They love to get cleaned and then they work fabulous. They continue to do great things. So love that. Um, the maintenance that's required in the building daily is oiling. I oil my machines one to two times a day depending on how long they're running and how many stitches that they're doing. And then replacing the needles just really depends again on how often you're using them. We run these machines almost eight hours a day. So I'm probably changing like one needle a day. It's not that often I feel like and it really just depends on what's going on in here. So the next thing I wanted to show were the hoops that we use. So the machines come with hoops that are traditional, but I literally would not embroider if I didn't have these special hoops. So these are the Mighty Hoops. We actually have a free shipping code. I'll put it in the section below because you guys literally need to get these. They are life changing. And while they are expensive, you will save so much time. Your items will look so much better. Um, the traditional hoops that come with the machine leave a mark on the items. These do not, so you don't have to worry about spending time to get those out, making sure that the item is straight because if you watch any of our vlogs, we show this all the time so you can see how I use it, but this just magnets on. It's so fast. It's so easy. Highly recommend. So this one I use for full front designs and then this one I use for side designs. So we have two setups. It's definitely not necessary but because again I'm running these eight hours a day it just makes sense for us to have two and keep them going the next question that I get a lot is how many hoops do I recommend you having for me I absolutely love having two hoops per machine so one's gonna be on the machine running and one is going to be ready to go so that when this item is done and I'm taking off the machine I don't have to spend that time getting the next one ready I'm not wasting any time because I already have the next one to go on the machine so I'm constantly rotating one in and out so three machines I have six hoops there's gonna be three on the machines and then there's gonna be three ready ready to go for when those ones are done and I do personally have six of the small hoops and six of the big hoops it's a little excessive because now I have 12 and I would never be running all of those at the same time but it just depends what I'm doing at that time and I'm very glad that I have them when I need them so for me it works well and I'm glad that I have them but it definitely isn't necessary and if you're just getting started then I would say just start with one and go from there and as you are able to afford more hoops then you can invest in those as you go so that is the basics of the embroidery room if you have any other questions or want me to do a video on anything else in here feel free to leave them in the comments and I would love to do that but now let's go check out our sewing machines which are used for our dog bandanas so this is the sewing room. We have actually three of these machines, but there's only two set up right now. This is the Juki TL2000. We actually got these on Amazon and I will put the link in the bio as well, but these only do a straight stitch. So if you are trying to sew something that needs any other type of stitch, this would not be for you. We do have a Bernina. It's over on the floor right now because <laughs> we don't use it all that often, but that was actually one of our very first machines. I believe it was the second machine that we invested in and it does a ton of things um, that for our dog bandana business, we just didn't find that we were utilizing it to its maximum capacity. And the amount of stitches that it can do per minute was not a ton. So that's why we invested in these Juki machines because while they only do a straight stitch they go so fast so it gets the job done and we're able to get way more bandanas done in a day by having these machines my other favorite part about this machine which a lot of machines have this but I would just look into it if you're doing research on which machine to get is that there is a little bar that you can hook in and actually use your leg to lift the pedal up and down so now your hands free um, able to move your pedal around it just saves a ton of time I know Nick and Keelan did not enjoy using that but I promise it makes you go faster they always say how I'm the fastest sewer and it's all thanks to the leg bar that allows me to go a little bit faster um, so I really like that and then this pedal down here obviously it allows you to sew but it also if you click the back let you cut your threads which is so nice so the machine does cut the threads for you by clicking that this isn't a machine but we absolutely love the backs that we have attached to our chairs because if you know about sitting and sewing all day it can definitely get your back so you need some kind of back support and we love these ones that we got from Amazon so the embroidery machines we have to get maintenance about twice a year like I said for me it's about every six months 
for the sewing machines I take them once a year um, and they just get their bath get a little cleaned up but in the office we are oiling them every day or every other day depending on how many bandanas we're sewing and then we just take the machine apart down here where the bobbin is clean it out make sure all the dust and the threads are out we probably do that about once a week but other than that these machines don't need much maintenance and they are fabulous they do such a great job so that's all the machines that we have here at tails up pup right now if you have any other questions feel free to leave them in the comments i hope that this was helpful thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you next time bye